What exactly is an on-trigger event? So on-trigger events are when you have a collision added to an object. So if we grab a game object, 3D object, a cube, and we go into here, we'll see that we have a box collider. So this can be done with a box collider, capsule collider, sphere collider, any collider. If you take the is trigger and turn that to true, if there is a script attached to this, it will fire an event called on trigger enter, on trigger exit, on trigger stay uh, to notify the attached script that an on trigger event has happened. So if we go into uh, a script, I've got one here created on, called on trigger events. All you have to do to interact with this event, so if that box collider is overlapped, we can go into here, and if you just start typing on trigger, you'll get a few options here. So you get on trigger enter, on trigger enter 2D, and this one would work if you had a 2D collider, so box collider 2D, uh, circle collider 2D. So we're just going to say on trigger enter, and then it'll autocomplete and bring up our on trigger. So what we can do is say on trigger enter other dot, uh, I think it's a game object. Can we just do name? Yeah, we can just say other.name. It'll get the name of the object that we've collided with. But we want to put that inside of a debug.log. If I can spell today. Here we go. So on trigger enter, it'll do. I am just all over the place. It'll print out other.name. So if we go back into here. We've got our cube and we can adjust this collider a little bit too. Uh, if we select this, we can just make it a little bit bigger. And then we'll create another cube. And we'll set this one up to the start side and name it intercepting cube. All right? And you can see that it's outside of that collider. And we add our script to the cube at the same level that the box collider is on. Press play and then we can put that in and try it out. Go into scene view, grab our cube, drag it. And nothing happened. So the reason for that is in order for box colliders to work, one of the objects, either the collider or the collide -E, have to have a uh, rigid body on them. So we can attach a rigid body to this. If we do though, you'll see that it just falls but unless we switch it to kin kinematic. Now we can grab it, bring it back up, and it's not falling anymore. And if we take it now, if I can get it up high enough, you can see intercepting cube is firing in the console. So it's working correctly, and it only does it when it's entered. So it doesn't do it all the time, only when it overlaps to begin with. And since I did all of this at runtime, I'll need to add my rigid body back on because I deleted it, set it to its kinematic, and we are good to go to continue coding. Back in here, we can add in our on trigger exit, which will do essentially the same thing. We add this in here, we can just put in plus has entered. exited has exited now if we go and we try this again we can grab our cube intercepting cube has entered intercepting cube has exited the next trigger event we can work with here is on trigger stay so this is a bit different than enter and exit it will fire every frame that the object is within that trigger so if we just go on trigger stay We can say debug.log. Other.name plus is staying. And we can go back in and test this out. Back in the scene view. We pull this in. You'll see intercept cube is staying and it's firing constantly. So the use for something like this could be, say you're playing like a King of the Hill type game where the longer you're on the mound, the, the more points you get. You could use that to tick up for as long as you're in there. 
uh, or if you have like a progress bar that's being filled when you're in a zone, that would be a good use for that. You could do the same thing with uh, on trigger enter and on trigger exit and just use like an invoke repeating. But the only time that there could be an issue with that is if say your player gets teleported out and they don't actually just walk out, they just get teleported out. The trigger could still think that they're there if you're using on trigger enter and the on trigger exit may never happen. So on trigger stay can be used as a different style of doing this where you add the items that are in the trigger to an array and it's just checking constantly to see if the item is there or not. And then when it checks and it's not, it runs a check at the end of its tick to see here, here are all the items I have, here are all the items that were here, are there any that aren't here anymore, remove them from the list. I hope that makes sense, it's a kind of a weird concept. But uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Just want to take a quick moment to shamelessly promote myself. I have a game coming out on Steam on November 23rd called Survive the Uprising. It's a silly game. It's a wave-based survival where the machines have come to life and you can buy guns and upgrade equipment and things like that to fight off the waves until you can face up to the boss and defeat the level. Uh, if that's up your alley, please wishlist it, or if, even if you just want to support the channel, I would really appreciate it.